Today's episode of The Read Pile is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash nerdupmedia. Over 150,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. I'm Elle, and I don't feel so good. I ate, I ate a whole bag of discounted Milky Way. And I am the Sussman Rick Sussman, and I am no longer interested in being downwind of you. But you are watching The Read Pile. It's the week of October 15th. Oh, we got news. Yeah? Oh, we got news. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, New York Comic Con just wrapped. Um, well, wrapped a couple of days ago. Mm-hmm. The news from New York Comic Con was Marvel's doing this, Marvel's doing that, Marvel's doing this. They got Secret Wars coming out. They got movies. They got they got Robert Downey Jr. is going to be doing flapjacks on the corner of Fifth and Main. DC Comics, evidently not content to be outdone, released today a calendar of future movies. Yeah. Well, kind of. There's a lot of placeholders, and it goes up through 2020, which is well, six no, years from Well, no, what's listed as 2020 are the unknown dates. They put Cyborg there. Yeah. Well, they could be a Cyborg like, movie. Could be, you know, that that would be the soonest they would possibly be thinking about it. It would be 2020 is what they're saying. <laughs> so maybe <laughs> Cyborg gets not really, in he's on the list, you know? That's but, cool, right? You know, because here's the thing, when it comes to 2020... Who's going to remember if we'll talk about it again? It is an awful long time in the future. Yeah. We they still... have plenty of time to rewrite, push things forward, uh, rewrite again. They can come up with a million things. They're, they're already doing it with... Okay. I, I get it. I get it. You are already not happy with it. So tell tell the folks at home, Elle, what are you least unexcited about already? Really? I would have to say Wonder Woman. Of course. Yeah. You want to elaborate, or are you just going to let that simmer? I'm just going to let it simmer, because I there's so much rage that I'm just going to leave it in here. Okay, so like, like I said, <laughs> it, 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 there's a lot of news to cover. <laughs> um, our comic book pull lists this week were a bit light. The, the read pile was a little, little smidgen. Yeah. Um... So, the biggest news probably was the unconfirmed, confirmed, unconfirmed, confirmed, rumor, not rumor, rumor, not rumor, that Marvel is going to be doing the Civil War storyline with Cap and Iron Man and how, like, Avengers 3 and 4 are going to be shot back to back and it may be called Civil War. But there's really no confirmation of any of this stuff. It's all just rumor mill and clickbait. How do you feel about that? We might as well touch on it. it. There's... I personally don't care. I don't. I don't read any of that. Okay. I I can't relate. I've said well, it people, a million times. People are very I excited. I like the movies. I I think the movies to me. I'm I am most of the public. <laughs> I am <laughs> when it is, comes. You no one is as angry as you are. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying. I am part of the majority when it comes to moral movies. I land in the portion of, yes, I know of the characters, yes, the movies are fantastic, but I don't really read the comics. That is most of the people going out and watching any of the Marvel movies. Okay. They don't read the comics. Sure. Yes, you'll get a handful of that group where they say, oh, I I read these comics when I was a kid. Yeah, and how many times do the storylines reboot that have nothing to do with what's going on in the movie right now? Even I know that. Because... I read DC, and I see it happening in their movies that they try to do. Not just the live action, but the animated movies and so on and so, so forth. So, okay, okay, let me surmise for you before you just I use sorry, all I'm of our digital rant. camera. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so what I'm gathering is you don't really care about the rumor mill one way or the other. You just no. want to see the movie, and you're willing to wait, and you have no interest I'll of, of speculating. I'll wait forever because I'm not really looking forward to it. But the movies are still good. I'm not against it. Okay. I, and then as far as the DC stuff, it's concerned, you're already condemning it. I, I have. I, okay. I am excited Good. about Aquaman. Oh. I am. <laughs> have you heard? <laughs> oh, tell me. It's been confirmed. Yes? 
Are you sure? Are you sure that Jason Momoa is 100% confirmed as Aquaman? The internet said yes. <laughs> the internet said, net, said yes eight months ago. It doesn't mean it was true. But, but I read it, and it was in bold lettering. <laughs> <laughs> it was italicized. Yes. And I, I'm going to continue my fantasy. Okay. And I'm going to believe it's true. It's the only thing going for me right now. <laughs> Wonderful. On that note, shall we review some comics? Alright, ready for my comic book reviews. So, some new stuff, repeats, but we're gonna start with a goodie, The Life After. Continues to be a wonderful storyline. Still very well written, and the kookiness of Hemingway just hopping around purgatory with, with Jude. It's pretty fun. But this issue seemed, did seem a little slow. It, you know, it's still opening doors to some mystery, but I still I felt like it moved a little slower this particular issue. It's still great, but something was missing. I don't know what it was. Uh, of course, you know, we have a huge uh, thing that opens up at the end of the book. And it just, it's a little jaw-dropping, but like I said, something's missing. I don't know what it is. I can't put my finger on it. There's, maybe it's just something simple, like it was a in-between issue. Maybe there's going to be something much bigger in the next issue. I'm not going to stop reading. I'm going to continue loving it. I'm going to keep it on my sub, but like I said, if you haven't started reading it, you know, there's still plenty of time to catch up. I still highly recommend anyone to, to check it out. It was just this issue is a little bit of a downer. But not as bad <laughs> as the following. <laughs> Clarion. I've really tried to give it a chance. I know of the character. He's popped up in various things. Even Batman Animated Series, he was there to various stories throughout DC Universe. He's there. He, he's been that guy. Oh yeah, you remember that guy? Yeah, that guy. He's this little dirtbag kid, you know, with, with powers, and he's always a snob, and pretty much the same type of personality, no matter what story he falls in. So, I'm assuming this series is supposed to make you interested in the character? Unfortunately, this issue made me care less about him. <laughs> I don't know what exactly they were trying to do, but didn't get my attention. Made me really not want to even bother trying anymore. Oh well. But, oh my, we have Jim Henson. You are awesome. This is my pick of the week. So continues, this is two of four. Kind of sad to, to hear that there's only four. Uh, this issue is about the Snow Witch. It is so wonderfully written. The story is not, it's not just a story. It's kind of like a historical, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know the, the right words to say. Uh, it's, I, I don't want to say fairy tale because it sounds more like a story that's passed down from generation to generation. It's lovely, it's a love story, it's, it's just beautiful. The artwork and the, the whole issue is fantastic. Even the way it is written, and I'm not gonna, no spoilers, but the way it is written. I thought this was just a cover. I pulled it out, eh, whatever. But you're actually reading it this way. Just the little, that little difference, it takes you out of that mindset of I'm reading this comic to I'm reading a beautiful story of you know, something that was passed down from generation to generation, 
and you're just sharing it with the rest of the world. It was so wonderful that, I mean, I just, I don't know what they're going to do for the next one. I'm very, very interested. The last issue was great. This one's great. I can only hope that it's going to get even better. But in the meantime, let's see what Rick has to say. All right, Elle, thank you for those reviews. As we mentioned at the start of the show, it's a bit of a more chill week in the terms of reading. There was just so much news. But we have more books to review, so let us review them. First, we have Batman and Robin, number 35, uh, here-ish. Uh, did not find the cool internet image for the specific variant here, so that is the uh, Batman and Robin in money, mummy form. The, it's Bat, Mummy, Robin, Mummy. Uh, the Monsters of the Month variants, I, I think, are pretty adorable. As far as the issue goes, this is the next uh, chapter in the Robin Rises series, where we are now on Apocalypse looking for Robin. Okay. Sure. I mean, it wasn't a bad issue. It's still well written, well drawn, but wasn't a whole lot of sizzle to it. Just a lot of, a lot of grizzle. A lot of, a lot of. You know, we got to get through this. There is some pretty cool shots at the end of the uh, issue with all of the Robins together. That was pretty cool. But as a whole, as an issue, it was like, all right, this was this was a comic book. Am I mad I paid money for it? No, I am not. I am very happy with it. And speaking of that. Trees! It's a magic number. Trees number six by Warren Ellis and Jason Howard. I know there's a story here somewhere. There's a lot of interesting things going on with uh, the characters learning a lot about themselves. One kid may be bisexual and he's learning that his uncle is actually his aunt and things like that and it's all happening and Underneath these giant pillars, the, these alien creature things that we call trees, and I'm sure we're going to get to a story at some point. The art is still great. The writing and dialogue, it's still Warren Ellis. It's awesome. But we, we could move it along now. We could, we could get the ball rolling. We could do something. Let's, the trees, the, the, the whole point is... The... And then we have this. This book is my pick of the week, so let's get the graphic. Oh, I'm gonna like, like Hadouken the graphic. I hope that showed up. Anyway, my pick of the week, and I'm, I'm giving it a long drum roll, because two weeks ago, this book was the worst book I'd ever read. A week ago, this book was the book where I told you guys, hey, everyone else go read this and tell me if this is crap, because I don't know anymore. And four weeks ago, no, I guess five weeks ago now, really, it was my pick of the week. And here it is again, Edge of Spider-Verse, issue 5, by uh, written by Gerard Way uh, and uh, drawn by Wyatt. This is awesome! This is so good! Where has this been? We started out with, with Spider-Man Noir, and that was so good. And then we had Spider-Gwen, and everybody kind of freaked out about that, and it was okay. And then we, we had Mega Man Spider-Man, and that was not good. And then last week, we had Giant Spider Spider-Man, and that was different. And then out of nowhere, Gerard Ray just shows up with his guitar slung over his shoulder and says, Who wants to make a comic book? And boom, we have an amazing issue. And it's so good, and it's like Spider-Man of Japan, and then all this... And I do have to give you one spoiler. I couldn't believe it. I had heard rumors, of course, Spider-Verse, all of the different Spider-Mens from all the different universes are all coming together to fight evil together, led by Doc Ock. Of all the spiders in all of the universes, this one had to come crawling back into the 616. And that is, of course, the amazing Spider-Ham, Peter Porker! Peter Porker is in this issue! Oh my god! Peter Porker! For you, our loyal followers of The Read Pile, we have an awesome offer from Audible.com. Audible is offering a free audiobook download with a free 30-day trial to give you the opportunity to check out their awesome service. You can download some really great books like The Hobbit, the unabridged version from Tolkien. You can download Divergent, Lean In, lots of great stuff to check out. To download your free audiobook today, go to audibletrial.com slash nerdupmedia. Again, 
That's audibletrial.com slash nerdupmedia for your free audio book. That's it for the read pile this week. Rick? Who are we thinking? The read what now? Read pile. Yeah. <laughs> why, why? Yeah. Um... If you guys uh, haven't already figured it out, we've been uh, promoting, uh, we are partners again, uh, as you've noticed, with uh, Audible.com. Uh, so you want to go to audibletrial.com slash nerdupmedia. I know you've heard that like five times during this uh, taping, but uh, it would really help us out. Uh, it would get our name out there, Nerd Up Media in general. Um, so outside of that, uh, there is someone I personally would like to thank. Ah. Yeah, it's me. I'm doing a lot of great. Right now, uh, I actually have started another channel on the Nerd Up Media web of shows. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. it's, it's me playing Hearthstone. Mm. Fantastic. You know how many times we had to redo shots because he had to finish a game? I, listen, I'm in the middle of a really good run. I'm like rank 14. It's really good. I, I, I've done like back-to-back -back arena runs. People out there play Hearthstone, and they are excited for me. Are they? Oh, they should be. I don't know. No. No. I'm creating content for us. Mm -hmm. Please make sure to visit all of our other friends at nerdupmedia.com. You can check out the podcast I'm actually not the host of, and that would be Those Two Jerks. You can check in with our friends, uh, The Reasons That I'm Broke podcast. Daniel and Kelly have a fantastic program where they also review comic books. You can also check in with the Lazy Gaming guys who do Let's Plays and other gaming activities that don't involve Hearthstone because I got that covered. And if you're really interested in checking out what Elle is up to outside of reading comic books and not liking movies and being ambivalent about movies coming mm -hmm. out, you can check out her bacon blog. What is the name of your bacon blog, Elle? Baconintheoven.com And you can check all that out and more fun stuff at nerdupmedia.com. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next week. Wait, no, you said downwind like I'm gassy. Yes, that was the joke. Oh, I was thinking like puke. But whatever. Great. <laughs>